Russia is likely attempting to use Iranian proxies to indirectly confront the West, including in support of Ukraine, according to the American Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Analysts have recalled a recent article by the Wall Street Journal, which reported on October the 7th that Russian arms dealer Viktor Bout, a deputy from the Ulyanovsk region assisted Russia in reaching an agreement with, with the Yemeni Houthis. This deal involves the sale of weapons worth $10 million amid increasing reports of potential Russian arms supplies to the Houthis and deepening Russia-Iran cooperation. According to Wall Street Journal sources, the initial shipments would primarily consist of AK-74 assault rifles and the Houthis have also discussed the potential transfer of Cornet anti-tank missiles and anti-air weapons. According to sources, it remains unclear whether Bout negotiated the agreement on behalf of the Kremlin or merely with its tacit approval. WSJ noted that the transfer has not yet occurred and the source of the weapons is still unknown. The Wall Street Journal also mentioned that shipments could begin as early as October 2024 at the port of Hodaida disguised as food supplies. In response, Bout and Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov denied the media reports. Russia has reportedly been involved in Iranian-brokered secret talks to transfer Russian Yakont anti-ship cruise missiles and other military equipment to the Houthis, but it is unclear whether these transfers have or will occur, added the Wall Street Journal. In summary, analysts continue to assess that Russia is likely seeking to use Iranian proxies for indirect confrontation with the West and to shape the Western decision-making process, including regarding support for Ukraine. Russia likely aims to leverage Iranian proxies to indirectly confront the West and shape Western decision-making, particularly to deter the West from supporting Ukraine over fears of Russian escalation against the West, including escalating in a different theater. The Institute concluded, over the past year of attacks on Israel and international shipping, the Iran-backed Houthis have delivered a strong military performance. They are seemingly aiming to be the first in, last out, meaning the first to cross key thresholds during the war and the last to stop fighting despite numerous allied strikes inside Yemen, facing weak domestic opposition and having arguably solidified their line of supply from Iran, the Houthis are stronger, more technically proficient and more prominent members of the axis of resistance than they were at the war's outset. They can now exploit new opportunities by cooperating with other axis players in Iraq as well as with Russia, potentially offering Yemen as a platform from which Iran can deploy advanced weapons against Israel and the West. A residential building was partially destroyed in the Ukrainian city of Krivi Rih as a result of a Russian strike on Thursday. Ukraine State Emergency Service reported that one person was injured in the strike on President Volodymyr Zelensky's hometown in central Ukraine. Footage shared by State Emergency Service of Ukraine shows local residents being evacuated from the building. Ukrainian Security Service, jointly with the Ukrainian Navy, struck a drone depot belonging to the occupying Russian army near the settlement of Oktyabrsky in Russia's Krasnodar region overnight on October 9. This was stated in the information released by the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces.
As a result of the strike, a series of explosions and fire occurred in the warehouse. Up to 400 Iranian-produced Shahid Kamikaze drones are stored in the warehouse, according to the reports. There have been no reports about casualties so far. General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces stressed in its statement on Thursday that the attack will significantly weaken the Russian invaders' ability to carry out terrorist attacks on peaceful cities and villages across Ukraine. The General Staff did not reveal what weapons had been used to strike the Russian drone depot. However, in one of the videos posted on Telegram channels, Russians are heard saying that, missiles exploded over our heads. It should be noted that Russia used Shahid drones for daily attacks against Ukraine near the Oktyabrsky settlement.